Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to um, use relational databases inside AllCAD Capture CIS. So a relational database allows you to have additional properties um, for specific parts. A good example of this is maybe you might have a single company part number, but you've got three or four different distributors or suppliers that can provide that part and you want to output that in a bit of materials. So we'll start off with our, our actual database itself. Mine's an access database. I've got a relational database here. So let's just open this up in Microsoft Access. So I've got um, two tables, just as a simplified version. I've got a resistors table, effectively, that lists my two part numbers. And these are my two company part numbers. These are the resistor values I've got. So I've got some of the key fields here, part number, part type, schematic part, and value. I've also got a PCB footprint and a description, and then a manufacturer, okay? And then I've got my relational table or my distributor table. So if we open this one, this is a repeat effectively of, of part number, my distributor and my distributor part number. So I've got effectively two for Farnell and two for, for, for DigiKey for my two part numbers. If I wanted to add a new one, I'm just going to do, um, I put the part number. So the key property here or the primary is the actual part number. So we'll put that one in. RS are going to provide it. And the RS part number is... Um, that one and we'll do the same for the res 002 and that's going to be an rs dash dash 476 so I just want to make that rs rather than rd sort the typo out so once I'm happy with that I can then save that so that's my database ready to go I need to go and configure this um, configure a data source and then configure this in CIS Explorer so we'll close that off. We'll then go to uh, the control panel, admin tools, data sources 64 bit, system DSN, and I'm going to add a new database here. So it's an access database. We'll click OK, give it a name, and the description I'm just going to keep the same. And then we'll select the actual database. So um, This is the actual database file. We'll click OK, and that makes effectively a, a data source here for me that we can then effectively use with CIS Explorer. So we'll click OK to that. So once we get into here, if we go to the options and CIS configuration, we can then click on New. So we go through the default wizard, so we'll click on Next. So what's the name of the data source? It's a relational DB, so we'll go for that one. It then lists effectively the two tables that I've got. So I've got a resistors table and a distributor table. Now my relational database is all stored in the distributor table, so I only need to configure the resistors table in this example. So we'll then click on next. We'll go through the key properties. So part number and value, what are these? And these are just mapping from the, the headings in my database. So I want to map part number to part number, value to value, part type to part type, schematic part to schematic part. And then I also want to map a PCB footprint. I haven't got a piece by model in this example, so we'll just click next. What am I going to transfer to design? Let's also transfer the, descript the description property. Um, do I want to make any of these browsable properties? Um, so if I want a hyperlink in the CIS Explorer window, um, if I had a data sheet or a link to a, a 3D step model viewer or something like that, I could have those. I don't need to worry about the rest, so we'll just click next. This is kind of a, a, a summary. We'll click next. And then I've got a key property. So when I'm doing an ex, uh, a search in CIS Explorer, what's the key property that it searches on? Value is the key one. That's the default one that Cadence use. Um, so I'd recommend leaving value as it is. We'll then click on finish. It then launches effectively the configure database window. So we can then see what we've done. And it's a summary. And if we need to make changes, we can make adjust adjustments to any of these here. Um, we might want to look at the, the admin preferences. So things like, do I want to have a temp allow temporary part numbers? Yes, I do. Um, if I'm using variant parts, what value do I want to use here? Maybe let's use DNI, do not in install. Um, the key part really for the relational is, is the relational database tab here. So I've got a primary key here. So I want effectively part number. And what's the relational table? That's the distributor. So that ties in with what I need here. So we'll click OK to that. And then it allows me to go and save it. So we'll just go and save this um, in the correct folder. So let's just call this Steve. And then we'll click OK. <clears throat> so when I press Z, um, that's my database. So there's my resistors table. 
and then I've got my two resistors here and if I select the first one there's the three alternates there's the second one with the three alternates so we can effectively select these parts let's just put three of those down let's go back to the Explorer window and we'll put three of these down and then I want to use this in a bill of materials okay so we'll select the design name we'll go to reports CIS bill of materials and standards so my report template effectively has item quantity value description part reference and, and PCB footprint um, maybe let's also just add description oh, I didn't sorry there's not a description my apologies um, so what we'll do here is I want to make sure that I include the relational database so I want the relational database here which gives me my distributor and distributor part number so I want my distributor and I want my distributor part number so that's this list relational database fields will show the relational data I can then make sure I include the relational data in the output I want three rows here I'm going to output send it out to Excel and we'll click OK that will then go and write my bill of materials and if we just uh, select all these fields so you can see effectively that's my part there one two and three and that was our four five and six and it's listing effectively all the information my distributors for those three parts.